Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Celebrate your 
accepted the divine call to the missionary frontier of Alaska, together with your wife, the beloved Catherine, you set out on your apostolic journey to Russian America, and you sang to the Lord, Alleluia.
become literate, reading the word of God in their own tongue and giving thanks to God, the Alleluia sang with joy, Alleluia. district to the land of the Eskimo people. You brought to the natives of Bristol Bay the sanctifying grace of holy baptism. You made the Nushagak River and New Jordan for them, bringing Christianity to the northern shores of the Bering Sea, where you remain are remembered today with these words of praise. Thank you. 
problem and you renewed your efforts to bring the gospel to all Alaska. You opened a seminary in Sitka for the training of indigenous clergy and designed a new cathedral for the capital city. You also constructed the clock for the church bell tower. When the holy temple was completed, you sang out in gratitude to the Lord. Alleluia.
O Holy Hierarch and Father Innocent, the Lord chose you and ordained you to go and bring forth much fruit in his new vineyard on the frontiers of Russia and America. You dedicated your life to building up the body of Christ in the new world and the old and brought treasures of the holy apostolic faith to Alaska and Siberia. We, your spiritual children, kneel before your holy icon and relics and ask you to intercede for the Holy Orthodox Church in your adopted and native lands. As you were humble and kind, help us by your prayers to be patient and generous. As you persevered under difficult circumstances in a remote and lonely region, strengthen us in our dedication to Christ and his gospel. As you love God and your flock and devoted your life and service to them, pray to our Lord that our hearts may be filled with a love for him and our neighbor. You planted the seeds of the Orthodox faith in Alaskan soil. Implore the Lord that we may be accounted worthy to continue the work you so gloriously began and to bring the light of Christ to every corner of America. You indicated the way into the kingdom of heaven by your words and example. Intercede for the salvation of us who venerate your holy memory. By your holy prayers may we become worthy of the precious spiritual heritage which God has entrusted to us through you and sing eternally the praise of the holy consubstantial life creating trinity, the Father and Creator who was without beginning, the Son, our Lord and Savior, who became man in order to sanctify and save us, and the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, who enlightens and enlivens all, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Have mercy on us according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, Metropolitan Tico, and his eminence, Archbishop Paul, for priesting is all the clergy. I'm for all thy brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces everywhere. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the parishioners of this parish, and especially all those who are gathered and those for whom they pray, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. O oh, heal our souls and bodies with broken and repentant hearts, we fall down before thee. Heal every sickness and every passion, afflicting thy servants, those suffering from the coronavirus and its variants, especially the child Xavier and all the ill-afflicted. Forgive them every transgression, whether voluntary or involuntary, and in the goodness of thy heart, quickly raise them from their beds of illness. We beg thee, Lord, Hear us and have mercy. O merciful Lord, who desires not the death of sinners, but that he should turn from his wickedness and live, take pity on thy suffering servants. Heal their sickness, take away the pain, forgive their sins. For we are conceived in sin, and our hearts inclined to evil even from birth. As thou didst deliver the daughter of Jairus from the jaws of death, stretch forth thy strong right hand and raise us from this bed of pain and restore them quickly to health. We beg thee, Lord, hear us and have mercy. <coughs> O Lord, by a touch of thy hand, Peter's mother-in-law was healed of her fever. By the tender mercy of thy compassionate heart, heal today the illness of thy servants, all those suffering from the coronavirus and its variants, for their affliction is great, and they have no hope 
accept in thee, O fountain of healings. We beg thee, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Christ our God and our sure hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen. May Christ stretch your God through the prayers of his most true mother, the holy, glorious, and allowable apostle, the power of the precious and life creating cross. Of our Father among the saints, innocent, a, a light, a apostle to America, enlightener, North America, whom we commemorate today, all the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Adam, of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Oh. 